In this video, I'll be showing us how to deploy to Azure App Service from GitHub. Let's get started. I'll log on to my Azure portal and click on Create Resource. I'll select Web App from the popular list. I can decide to place this in an existing resource group or I'll just create a new one because this serves a new purpose. I'll give it a name and after that, I'll click on OK. Then I'll give my web app a name, which will be globally unique because my app service will be appended with .azurewebsites.net. And then I select found to do code or Docker container. I'll pick code and .NET 5. If I were writing other languages or framework, I could select from the list. I'm writing .NET 5, so I'll pick that one. I'll also select Linux operating system because that is cheaper. Then I'll select the location I want my web app to be located in. I put this in UK South because it's closest to where my users will be visiting my application, but I could pick from any resource location that is available globally. Next up is the app service plan, which is what determines the amount I pay every month for the app service. I'll create a new one for this purpose and I'll give it a name. And then I change the SKU to basic because it costs about $13 a month, but if I was to go production mode, I could select the production pricing plans, but this is just for development, so I'll select B1. You could check out the production plans and see how much it could probably cost you every month. I'll go back to dev test and select B1 and apply that. Next up is the deployment area, which is still in preview at the time of this recording. I'll enable that. This lets me connect my code to GitHub and then deploy from there. I'm already signed into GitHub and then I'll select the tenant I want to use from GitHub and then the repository I want to use. I'll search for hello.net.web and then I'll select the branch I want to build from. That will be my main branch. I could preview the GitHub action files that will be generated for me to build this application. I don't have to modify anything in there so I'll just close that. I'll skip monitoring for now because it's not supported out of the box for Linux service plans quite yet. I'll validate my pricing and every configuration I've selected to be sure everything is fine. And then once that is ready to go, I'll click on create. It takes a couple of moments to deploy my resources in Azure. Now let's look at what is actually going on behind the scenes. This is GitHub. This is the code I'll be deploying. And I can see that GitHub Actions has been triggered. If I go to the Actions area, I will see that there's a current build that is running from inside GitHub. I can expand that and see the processes that have taken place already and the one that is currently in progress. I can decide to wait for that to see where it takes me to. So it's currently deploying the zip app package because that is the process the .NET deployment goes through. Deployment is completed. And I can go ahead and check my web app by clicking on go to resource. I click on the URL of my app service. And then I see my application loaded up nice and easy. Let me modify the code I'll be deploying so that I can see the changes that I actually want to make and show that on the website. I'll commit my changes right now. I then synchronize to my source control, which is GitHub. Once that is synchronized, I'll go back inside Azure to the deployment center to see what is going on. I'll go to the logs tab and I can see that as a build that is in progress. I can actually go inside GitHub to see what is going on in there. I go to actions. I see a build is on and I check the progress just as usual. I can expand that to see what is going on. It's currently in the deployment stage. So, and it should be done any moment from now. And it's done deploying. Let me go over into my web app on Azure and refresh the page. And I can see the change reflected just in few seconds.